Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome to Rogue Legacy Thanatophobia, which is a game mode that I haven't played through before. Um, if you haven't seen Rogue Legacy 2 before, there's like 170 videos of it in my channel on a couple of different playlists. <laughs> so you're welcome to use that as more of an introduction to the game. Um, but in this one, there are 15 different classes, and so we're going to have 15 lives. One live with each class, chosen randomly. Um, we start out with all the heirlooms and insights. Uh, certain things don't cost money. And, yeah, basically the goal is to beat all the bosses in the game in one kind of run-through. So, let's give it a shot. I have played... Ooh, we're starting with a knight. It's a good starting character. Um, but also kind of a waste, because it'd be nice to use this as kind of a boss-killing ca character later on. So let's see, we could have White Star, we could have Poison Bomb, we could have Wind Wall, or we could re-roll. Um, I don't like the Hollow Bones. White Star is not awful as a start. Let's re-roll and see if we get anything that I like more. Uh, Vegan with Muscle Weakness? No thanks. Gravity Beam's okay. Start with a weighted anklet and magma mass. Um, I'll take that one. All right. And I think it starts us with a small amount of money. I've only played this game a tiny bit, like a few hours in the past year or something. Yeah, it starts us out with 200 money. All right. And so certain traits give gold bonuses. Uh, unlocking classes is free. It just helps you branch out the skill tree. Um, and then I could unlock the Enchantress, which is good, because that means... Okay, now I've spent all of my money, but the Enchantress exists, and these things are free, and so she starts out with two of them, Lifesteal and Magnesis, and so I'll go ahead and buy and equip those. Alright, but we've got Magma Mass, we've got a sword, we've got a shield to block with that I'll probably forget to use. Let's see just how much money we can earn. The teleporters to unlock from the Pizza Girl that you can purchase are cheaper in this mode. Uh, and so I might end up purchasing a couple of them. And I think to start, uh, well, I guess I will save some furniture in the opening area in case they need to come back for it, rather than try to break all the furniture for four coins and things at the outset. And I guess the first thing I'll try to do is to make my way to the right-hand side of the castle if I can, in order to start finding teleporters and whatnot. And if we manage to find... I've got 200% resolve. And percent is kind of silly or whatever, but uh, I have that many resolve points, and so I can afford to carry some relics if we manage to find them. And since we already start out with all the heirlooms, that means like the two special rooms in this portion of Citadel Agartha will have a couple of relics to choose from if we can find those. I'm going to go ahead and hop down here just to have this teleporter and some extra furniture available to me to come back to later. But let's continue exploring more of the Citadel and killing bad guys. Uh, there's food that I didn't need. That's another reason just to try to get out of this area, is we want to come back to this area. Possibly to, like, use it for some healing later on. So I'd like to get the later areas as soon as possible. Where this knight can really do some work. Ouch. Alright, but we have taken some damage. Alright, and I'm only healing 1 HP per kill. Because I'm not that strong yet, and your vampirism is based on your strength. And I do see, actually, an exit up here. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that room to come back to. I also haven't decided how I'm going to do the editing. Rogue Legacy is a game where, if you get a good run going, a single run can last a long time. Potentially a long, long time. Um, okay, so this is the entrance to the Stygian Study. Do I want to buy this teleporter? How much would it cost? I don't have enough money yet, I'm sure. 375 is how much they cost. Maybe next time. Alright. Sun Tower is definitely the best one to buy, because it gets you far away and adjacent to a couple of areas. 
So that's what I would like to find. And it is the case that this goes further to the right. So now I'm going to continue this way. So yeah, I might I might do some fast forwarding. I don't think I'll cut that much unless it's just like walking back through an area that I've already explored. And yeah, I was really kind of hoping earlier this year, I think back in April, there were a couple of puzzle games that came out. Uh, Isles of Sea and Sky and uh, Packerette Down the Bun, Bun Burrows, uh, both of which I'm excited to eventually play, but both of them got released in a state where they were kind of not done, <laughs> as sometimes happens with indie games when the developers ran out of money. <laughs> um, and so I've been patiently waiting for those games to become done so that I can play them. But neither of them is there yet, to my understanding. Okay, here's the boss room, and we might fight the boss after we power up a bit more. Uh, the boss of the Citadel. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, I was taking a look at other games to play, and there was another Zelda-like that I took a look at that was a free-to-play game. Um, but after looking at it a little bit, I decided it really didn't look like it was going to be that good. Which is too bad. Could have been fun. Could have been something else I could have been using my mapping tool with, which would have been fun. Uh, I have spells, by the way. I should, like, use them occasionally, since you get mana back pretty easily in this game. And, yeah, some of my spells, such as Magma Mass here, could potentially hit enemies multiple times, which makes it pretty good. Uh, I will go ahead and take the apple, even though it's going to take me damage. Or the... The one that gives me more maximum health, because I want to build up this character. Alright. And let's see what else we got. Still have not found our way to the second area, whose name escapes me right at the moment. But I'll come up with it soon enough. Or we'll simply encounter the area and I'll be able to read it off the screen. All right, here's one of our rooms. Uh, Voltaic Circlet's not bad. It would be good for Lamech. It would be good for the second boss as well. Glowing Ember is good during the run, kind of. Voltaic Circlet has minor drawbacks, but only for later areas. I think I will go ahead and take this. I think it will help me. And we'll get to see its effects probably momentarily. Uh, this is just going to drop some furniture. And here is the second area, whose name is... Axis Mundi. That's right. Not going to purchase that teleporter either. And Voltaic Circlet will kick in shortly. Once we strike an enemy. There we go. There's your Voltaic Circlet. So I strike an enemy, and then I get this little sphere of damage around me. And I did not anticipate the skeleton bouncing back off the water. Took some needless damage there. So I am a little bit low on health already, but surely we'll find a chicken leg or something. That'll help me out, so I'm not too worried about it just yet. We'll take Circlet doing a nice job protecting me from enemy projectiles there. So that was appreciated. Good job, Relic. You're doing work. And I will go ahead and break this furniture, because I would like to find a chicken leg or a pizza to help heal me. And, ooh, Circuit Stinger, also very good. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this right now. So I can hit guys to poison them and walk away. It'll also be good for boss fights, uh, where I can just kind of lay some po poison on the bo boss and then try to escape away for a short bit. Um, that seems like a good way to deal with that guy. So yeah, because you're just going to get one chance with each of the 15 classes in the game, like some of the classes I'm like not, oops, ugh, I'm not doing well with Knight right now, uh, I'm not good at, uh, or... 
are just hard to play against certain bosses and things. And so... I think it's going to be challenging. It's kind of the long and the short of it. Alright, what do we got here? Scholar Cape. That's fine. Alright, I'm down to 100 HP. If I don't get a chicken leg soon, we might be escaping back to the Citadel in order to ensure this character's longevity. Because I'm... Ah, darn it! Oh, gosh. As I mentioned before, Knight is a very, very good character. There's my poison doing a little bit of work. All right. Some would say that our health is nice, but it's really not all that nice right now. Uh, let's use our spell, because I keep forgetting that I have it. Spells are good. And you're gonna get poisoned to death, I believe, yeah. So I'm happy to let that do the work. Uh, you are not gonna get poisoned to death. The more times I strike the enemies, the more stacks of poison I can leave on them. Up to 10. So kind of re-poisoning the enemies is a good thing. Uh, that is just gonna, yeah, break apart like that. That's fine. You're just gonna die of the poison. Every enemy I kill, I'm getting a small amount of health back. And eventually we'll find ourselves a chicken leg, which will give me a larger portion of health back, and then I'll feel good. And also, we're getting close to that teleporter I want to unlock, and now I have plenty of money with which to purchase said teleporter unlock. Because it'll be at the end of this screen. But along the way, maybe we'll find something else good. Although at this point, I've pretty much used up just about all my resolve. I might find a talent swap, which would be pretty good for this character, because I'm just poor at thinking to use the shield even though it is a powerful talent. Uh, <laughs> this would be nice, but it costs 55 resolve. Uh, it basically gives you an extra life, but at the cost of way too much resolve, I'm down to 110% right now. I'll try to remember that Hyperion's Ring is there, uh, just in case we manage to gain some resolve back in the various ways that that is possible. Let's wait for this guy to come outside of the range of the Nightmare so that we can strike him without being retaliated. And then I can do this. Let's go ahead and grab that chest. So good news is we are earning plenty of money. Bad news is still have not had any luck finding things that are going to give us some health back. Mana potions do not restore health. I think there was some upgrade in some early versions of Rogue Legacy 2 that I was playing. Oh boy, uh, where you could get health back from mana potions by something something. Uh, and that is no longer the case, I believe. Okay, I'm going to be careful with this guy because he's pretty scary. I arguably shouldn't be fighting him at all. But where's the fun in that? All right, we got him. And we made it to the pizza parts. And so that means that right upstairs is going to be a teleporter that we can purchase for unlock. So let us do such things. Sure. All right, this portal has been permanently unlocked. I need some health, so I'm going to investigate the furniture that is hanging out in this area, in case there's any chicken legs hiding in it. But it doesn't seem like we're having much luck in that department. We'll take a very brief peek in this room. Too dangerous. We will come back later. Uh, do I want to continue here? I think actually the smart move right now is to go back to Citadel Agartha, actually. So let's teleport back to the entrance. There's lots of furniture in Citadel Agartha, and so lots more chances to possibly find a chicken leg or a pizza slice. That would put my health in much better shape. 
And there's also lots of easy enemies for me to beat up. Where my vampirism of 1 HP per kill could help me out. Uh, oh, wow. Koi is a shell. That would be amazing. That's almost worth it. If I can find a talent swap, I would take take my resolve below 100 to be able to get that. And let's see. I can. Uh, I thought I had room to go off the right-hand side, and I do not. So I don't know what I was thinking there. Obviously the wrong thing. Oh, gosh! <laughs> uh, maybe it would have been good to practice some more hours before actually just starting up this challenge. But here we are. All right. Down to 50 health. Now we really kind of need that chicken leg I've been talking all about. Uh, yikes. Okay, I'm going to enter this, and then I'm just going to climb, 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 and everything's going to be fine. I see them coming, so I'm going to do that. Okay, we're fine. Everybody's fine. Don't panic. But to do be careful and choose not to take any more damage. Because it's a choice, right? The choice not to take damage is yours. At least we're making tons of money. But we got a ways to go to get this health back up. But maybe we'll find a room with two chicken legs in it. Or not. At least not right at the moment. Perhaps it's this one. There's one chicken leg, finally. Okay, 34 HP. Ooh, I'm going to need more than just a couple of chicken legs, actually. Turns out... Chicken does not heal me that much right now. And I forget if it's based on intelligence scaling just right off the bat. Or if that's something that you get later. I can't remember exactly how it goes. I don't remember all the mana upgrades off the top of my head. Oh, gosh! Okay, at this point, uh, we're going to need a couple of miracles to go our way. But at least we're making some money. Alright. The flame lock did die. It was just the spike ball that was having the poison effect there for a moment. Even though spike balls are unkillable, you can still somehow poison them. Why is that? I don't know, it's a crazy game. So did I finish this room? I think I did. However... Over to the right there's more stuff I want to do, I think. Because there's somewhere to go down here. As well as a room I didn't finish up here, etc. Okay, so let's find ourselves some more furniture. Some more easy enemies. Alright, what else we got here? Just a plinky, it looks like. Leather weapon, very nice. And plenty of mana. So yeah, realistically, if I don't find a couple more chicken legs and pizza slices, this is probably just turning into a money run with the first character to start powering up the last rest of our bloodline. For anyone who hasn't seen Rogue Legacy before, it's a rogue light. So basically, you can purchase permanent upgrades with the money you earn each run, so that future upgrades can go better, or future runs with future characters. But this character will be dead and we won't be able to play with them anymore, and that'll be sad. Uh, I could probably do this if I do something like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. And it's turn a profit of 5 HP in that room. Let's just have like 20 more rooms like that. Uh, no jumping. I can do this challenge, I believe. By spin kicking. Haste room. Alright, I'm not sure that I would use that one in this game mode. That's nice. Any chicken legs in here? 
Really not having a lot of luck with the chicken legs today, it seems. So at this point, there is furniture up in here that I have not gone through yet. And if I can get to it, there's a guaranteed room with an apple. Oh, there's some prey. Hey, chicken leg. There's a guaranteed room with an apple up here. So even though it'll be scary, I should see if by any chance it's close to the entrance and I can get to it. Because it would really help my health. Okay, there's one guy dead. There's another guy dead. Uh, let's not bother going after the treasure chest in here right now. Let's instead... Okay, these guys can't shoot through the walls. And I can. So advantage me. So I'm going to be patient. Even though being patient is kind of slow. All right, we killed these guys. I'm trying to peek in as many rooms as I can and see if I can find the big room that's gonna lead to the apple. Ooh, Freon's reward. Opening chest restores health. It's gonna bring down my maximum health, but it'll give me a chance to get my health back, so I think I'm gonna take it. So, let's do some peeking. All right, I don't immediately see the room that I want. There is a bunch of furniture in this room. Could I do this room? I think I can. Uh, would have helped if I didn't do that, though. All right, what if I just... take you out, and then wait for you to waste your shot, and then go after you? There's a mimic in here, too. I was thinking that was a chest. It's not. It's a mimic. Also, you don't want to shoot until you can see me. All right, let's get rid of the Mimic. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's get rid of the Mimic. <laughs> He's still not dead. All right. I think at this point I'm a one-hit kill with this guy, so let's just not die to him. How about that? All right, so far so good. All right, you're not going to die to the poison, so shoot your shot again. Thank you. Okay. We did not manage to get any food out of there either. Okay, I need to find chests. Where are the easiest chests to get to? If I am very quiet, I will not wake up these paintings. And I can open a chest. And that gives me 18 HP. So yeah, if I can find a bunch of chests to open, I can get HP back that way. I'm not going to worry about the money that I lost there. And is there a way to get around this guy easily? Not particularly. Is there anywhere else that's easy to go in here? Remind me what was over here. Uh, not immediately a chest, but also not immediately any enemies who are going to get to me. In fact, you are eminently killable. As is your friend here, the Javelin Maiden. So thanks for existing so close to my space, where I can kindly hit you through the wall carefully. Thank you. All right, you're dead. Any chicken leg in here? There's not. Let's take a peek in a couple more rooms. That one's a little bit scary. This one's also a little bit scary. Okay. Uh, there was a chest down here on the left-hand side. What enemies were guarding it? Uh, just a planky. It's not so bad. Uh, there's somebody else. That's a bit more scary. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the Citadel. If there are more rooms in the Citadel, we could do. And there is one in the throne room or near it. So let's try to find some chests and or chicken legs near here. Uh, there is a chest. So there is some hit points for me. And then there were also rooms just to the right of here that I have not yet done in this area. Carefully make sure that we don't take damage. Show me a chest. No such luck yet, but there is furniture. No chicken legs. Here we go! Okay! Possibly the best talent. Um, I can now do this. Invincibly fly around the world for a few seconds. Uh, maybe not even a second. It's not that long. But it's extremely powerful. 
Also, there was a chest, so I'm back up to 100 hit points. I think we can totally turn this run around at this point. So, there are more rooms in the Citadel. Let's go try to find some more chests. We will use our new talent as appropriate. It uh, refreshes every... Yeah, it only takes seven seconds after using it to refresh. At some point, we're going to want to fight the boss, I think. Oops. So let's go ahead and open the door to the boss room thusly. But not go in it just now. And the new rooms I was trying to go find were in a different direction. Oops. So let's go in that way. Do not fall on the spikes. The spikes will hurt your feet. Unless you happen to have a pair of Fermi's boots. Uh, I'm not good at this room, so we're going to skip that. Uh, this room does have a chest, which makes it of special interest to this character who has Freon's reward that gives me health back every time I open a chest. So let's grab that. Let's also take the money. We're up to 124 HP. And we're turning this run around. I declare it. Okay, so the next thing I would like to do is continue uh, a portion of the Axis Mundi that I didn't do. So let's teleport to the second half by taking the teleporter to the Sun Tower and continue in this area. So I've already taken the furniture here, but we should be able to find some chests and some furniture. And let's see, I do have a spell I would like to use to get rid of the eyeball. So we have one fewer guy shooting at me. Somebody else shooting at me from a long ways away. Not very nice. Still not sure. It's like a... Oh, hey! There's a chicken leg. It's like an astrologer or something up there. Oh, gosh. I thought that their first projectiles were going to go away already. Oh, it's a guard box. I see. Uh, what is the way to deal with that guy? Because he's just going to keep summoning projectiles on top of me, and I don't like it. Well, I guess to shoot him, hit him in the face. It's probably the best way to do it. Ah, I just jumped into them. That was not smart. Alright, but he's dead. And I probably should have used both my talent and my spell when we're there. But still getting back into the swing of pressing all the buttons. Oh boy. Uh, I, hmm. I'm pretty sure I tried to press the button once there, and it did not press for whatever reason, and so that's always frustrating. Alright. Uh, health is extremely low. And there's another boss monster, and I just died. Rats! Alright, well that was a run that could have gone a whole lot better. Uh, but... We'll call it a good warm-up. <laughs> we spent our night. We have 14 characters left. Who's going to be next? It's a barbarian. We could get a clown. More damage and less health. Um, can't see dealt damage. But does get more gold. I don't love any of these. Let's re-roll. Um... Health regenerates, but you lose or max HP when hit. That's basically just kind of like two lives. It's good as a boss killer, but not good for this right now. That's not super great. That's also not super great. We're going to reroll one more time since we can. Hollow bones I don't like. Super food I don't like. Free Hunter Ward. There we go. With a barbarian who has a big health pool. Okay. Here's a character who could go places. And... This is free. This is free. This is free. And now we're basically kind of forced to uh, buy this sooner rather than later. Unlock all of the uh, free things once again. And let's take a look now that we have you at what things we could purchase. Leather weapon, leather helm, leather chest. Let's... These will improve my, like, strength and my 
vitality, and my armor. So I will take those things. And then the scholar cape, what does it do? It's more intelligence. But it's bringing down my resolve. Wearing all these things, I really need another leather piece, honestly. So do I want all of these things right now? I think I'd prefer to have more resolve. So if I were to unequip this... And this... That brings me back up to... More resolve. So I could actually take on a relic. A good one. So I think I'm going to choose to do that. And then with our remaining money... Strength is good. Intelligence is good. Which spell does this character have right now? Windwall is not a very good... It's mostly a defensive spell. Uh, and barbarians are not very intelligent anyway. Uh, so I think we're going to go mostly based on trying to get some more strength ups. And health is good as well. Then this gives us access to just broaden the tree a bit more. Uh, in case there's other things that I'd like to get. The Architect is free. I'm just unlocking all the free things whenever they become available. Uh, and I could, mm, I could go after weight capacity as well. But I'm not sure. It's a complicated stat to know exactly when it's going to kick in and be valuable. I think I might spend things mostly just on strength and health. I'll, I'll put one into weight capacity, because in the long term that's definitely going to help. And... Uh, let's do Living Safe also, so that we can actually save a little bit of our money between runs that goes unspent. And I did get another rune. So yeah, let's go after some rune weight up. I don't think it's a rune I was necessarily going to use. And then these are... Oops, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, free to upgrade all the way. Okay, so now I've spent as much of my money as I can. I only have four money left. So, I don't think I have enough rune weight to wear whatever it was, and it's a haste rune, which I'm not sure that I'd want to wear anyway. I could afford it. Let's just turn it on real quick and see. Eh, it doesn't seem like I'm moving that much faster. If I turn the haste rune off... Eh, no, okay, that was faster, and I think I kind of did prefer the faster speed. Yeah, so let's go with this speed, with this Barbarian. Alright, so we've set ourselves up for next time. We've got Windwall, which is a good defensive spell to block projectiles. Um, and yeah, we're going to try to get more done with this character than the previous one. I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy 2 Thanatophobia. For now, bye-bye.